all right welcome back so now we are ready to start creating our geometry for exercise number four so this is our complete part like i said before so we need to come over here to the top left and create a new document and as always whatever machine type you're using last it's what's going to default for the new document as the mill default we're going to be doing milling anyway so we're going to keep this the same over here now i'm going to open up my mastercam flowchart that i've created and i've shared with you in the dvd uh, like I said, print one of those out and have that in front of you at all times, especially if you're new to Mastercam. So remember what I've said before about selecting the machine type and then creating your geometry or solid or importing a part second. Now, the only thing I really wanted to mention is that these two go parallel. So you can actually select your machine type or create the geometry. There's nothing wrong with doing any of these first, as long as you do them together. Okay. And But the rest of them need to be in... Uh, one after the next so this will be the second thing that you do third and fourth and follow the flow chart just like i have it and just like i have it shared with you all right so i'm going to minimize the flow chart real quick and get started so i'm going to open up the drawing real quick to go over it but again i always recommend please go over and print this out uh, have it in front of you uh, as i'm going over this exercise so you're not always going back and forth in your screen now unless you have two monitors that's going to help you obviously but uh, for most people uh, please print one out and have it in front of you and follow along. So real quick, what I'm going to be doing is I'm looking at this part and I saw that there's radiuses over here and all of my dimensions go off of these radiuses, which are the 0.5 radius over here that I have them on both sides and which is an inch and a half from this point. And then also it is, I know the height of that is four inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing this line, which is four inches long, and then I'm going to be drawing one two and three circles because i already know the radiuses of these circles and i want to make sure that if i draw them in then i can connect them all using a tangent line so that's something we'll learn how to uh, create so i'm going to draw this radius 0.5 one two and then 1.5 1.25 radius circle over here uh, by knowing the location okay so obviously this one is going to be negative 0.15 in x and four inches in y Okay, remember because I'm starting this point being my origin, so I need to basically dimension everything or locate everything from that origin. Next thing I want to do is place this circle, and that's going to be 4 plus 1.5, so that's 5.5 in X, and then 4 inches in Y. And the last circle over here, it's going to be 2 inches because that's the midpoint over here in X, and all the way up, it's 8 inches in Y. And remember, I have all of these dimensioned for you. So the only thing I did over here is add this dimension and this dimension together because I need to know the entire distance of X of this uh, circle. All right, so let me go ahead and get started with that. Come over here to line. And I'm going to draw a line from the origin. I'm going to place it just anywhere over here and type in 4 for the distance. Hit enter and hit apply. So there's my 4 inch line. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is click on OK to exit that and go to the circle geometry. The first thing I'm going to do is select the radius. So the radius, I already know it's 0.5 inches and hit enter. You're going to notice that the circle is around your mouse. So we've done this previously. This is nothing new. And now I'm going to place it. So I'm going to place it at negative 1.5 in X, 4 in Y and 0 in Z and hit enter. Now I already know where it is. I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to hit fit the screen so my circle is now part of my screen. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing and draw this circle over here. So again, it's going to be a 0.5 inch radius. Hit enter. And there's your circle right there around your mouse. And then again, it's going to be 5.5 in X, 4 in Y, and 0 in Z. And hit enter again. And there's your circle. I'm going to hit apply to accept it. And the last one is going to be 1.25. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and there you go. That's your big circle that's going to be up top. And in X, that's going to be 2. Tab. In Y, that's going to be 8. Tab. And Z is going to be 0. Hit enter, and there's your last circle. Hit apply, and hit OK. So now I want to connect these circles. Okay, so the way to connect them, come over here and select line. But what you want to do is make sure that tangent over here is selected. So that allows the line to be tangent on the circle and not just selected on a certain point of the circle, but tangent from circle to circle. And also what I'm going to do is come over here 
under the app uh, configuration and make sure under the auto cursor settings disable all and only enable tangent and endpoint so that allows uh, my line to connect by tangent for basically if it's circle to circle it's only going to be tangent to each other and then also because i need to connect the circle to the line which has an endpoint that's why i need the endpoints over here okay so that allows the line to snap only in tangent and endpoints select okay and let's go ahead and create those so select line over here there you go there's my line and all i have to do is come over here and select the circle make sure you don't see a little square around the circle when you do that and there's your first one i'm going to come over here and just come close to the circle as you can see when you rotate your mouse around it you're going to notice that it just keeps following you now if it does that just make sure you rotate your mouse around the, to the other side there you go to flip it around and there you go just come close to the circle and snap it onto it if you come too close to the circle it starts to create points as you can see that little square right there that's a point which is a horizontal straight from the origin of that circle so you don't want to do that just come close to the circle there you go and then bring it close to the circle but remember if it does snap like that and you want it the other way just move your mouse to that to the closer to that edge over there and it will change direction come close to the second circle and snap it right there hit apply and then last but not least this circle again i'm going to move it to this side and snap it onto this endpoint hit apply and hit ok and there you go easy enough to do that so the next thing we want to do is actually get rid of uh, these circles but we don't want to get rid of the radiuses of these circles because remember the only reason we created these circles is so we can use the radius end that connects these circles and because that's the that's the way we have them defined in our drawing is by the center the distance between every th this point and this point is all by the center of that radius so now we need to get rid of this circle basically for every single one of those leaving the radiuses on here and i'll show you how to do that okay so to trim these circles come over here under the trim option trim break extend select it and then make sure you select the right here divide slash delete okay so that allows you to basically pick certain areas of geometries that are separated by the connected by the other connected geometries and allows you to cut them so the ones that you see that are black both black and white dashes are the ones that you if you select it will delete so go ahead and select the top one over here and the bottom end over here and as you can see the radius is still there and that's exactly what you want go ahead and do that for both of the other geometries so there you go this one you're able to delete the whole thing and then at the top over here make sure you select there and as you can see there's still a little piece over here make sure you select it and there you go it deletes all of the geometry leaving the radiuses for you so the next thing you want to do is actually offset this entire area by 0.2 if you go back to your drawing i'm going to open it up real quick this there's a line over here that is offset by 0.2 so we need to create that same exact geometry that we have all around offset by 0.2 and we're going to learn this feature right now. So go ahead and select OK over here to exit the trim. And come over here and select X Form Offset Contour. Select it. And then select this entire chain right here. And select OK. And as you can see, that's already going to give you that pink area where it's offsetting uh, to. Now, I already have a distance of 0.2 over here. And that's exactly what I want. I want to offset it by 0.2. That's because I already created it. Now you have the option of moving, copying, joining two areas, and creating a slot as well. You also have the option of uh, doing it in both the uh, distance and the width, and an angle as well. And you can also reverse the chain. All right, and then you can re double reverse it. The pink area is where it is uh, copying to. All right, so reverse it back. So this is right now copying to the outside. I don't want that. I want it to copy it. To the inside so you want to make sure to reverse this until you see you see it going towards the inside right there that's exactly what you want make sure it is 0.2 and then hit ok and hit will come over here and hit clear color just so you can clear that out and as you can see it created that offset from the outside to the inside of 0.2 but now if i go back to my drawing again you're going to notice that that's not how it actually looks like so if you go to the bottom that area right here is actually uh, all the way down to the 
to the line that we created in the beginning and we need to do that. So we need to ex we need to cut that line first that's at the bottom and then we need to extend this feature and this feature all the way to this line. And let's go ahead and do that.